are stranding themselves. Why is it happening? There could be cyclical, like animals might be coming in closer to the shore this year than they have in the past years. It's really hard to say. The mass stranding started two weeks ago along a 25-mile stretch of Cape Cod. 98 dolphins in all, as many as this area usually sees in an entire year. Two dozen were safe, fitted with transmitters, and released back into the water. Brian Sharp of the International Fund for Animal Welfare is following their signals. These lines show three survivors have made it up to Maine. This means they're alive and thriving. That is, that is correct. If the tag is transmitting that the, the animal is alive. There are a few theories about what's behind the strandings. Dolphins are social animals and could be following a disoriented leader. Their food supply may be too close to shore. They may even have something to do with the unusually mild winter. One, two, three. Niemeyer has examined four dead dolphins so far and will look at four more tomorrow. We would like to see every animal that comes in line to go back out live. That's our goal and that's our first priority. Okay, let's try to get Junior in here. Although 200 more dolphins have been spotted off the coast, there have been no new stranding since Monday. Scientists hope they'll find some answers before they find more dolphins on Cape Cod beaches. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Woods Hole, Massachusetts.